Hey, Jared Dees from TheReligionTeacher.com. We're going to do a quick breakdown of the parable of the Good Samaritan so that we can ask ourselves, what is Jesus trying to say to us in this parable? So a man comes up to Jesus and he says, Teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus poses the question back at him, and his answer is correct. You're going to do two things. You're going to love God and your neighbor. Then he has to justify himself a little bit to tell him, who is my neighbor? And Jesus responds by sharing a parable, a story of what we call the Good Samaritan. And as the story goes, a man's walking down a road and he falls victim to some robbers. And he's left there half dead. And the first two people that see this half dead body are a priest and a Levite. A Levite is from the one of the tribes of Israel who is a priestly class. They're both kind of like priests helping out at the temple. And in the Old Testament, there's very strict rules about touching a dead body and all these ritual washings and, and days in which you have to be separated from the community um, that, that are going to probably convince them to choose purity over pity. So these priests in the Levite are really concerned about being pure and holy. And so they probably are avoiding that half dead or looking like dead person because they want to stay pure. And the fascinating thing about this parable, the shocking thing about this parable, is that the person who does help the victim, who does show pity, he would be impure because he's a Samaritan. And for the Jews at this time, this would be shocking to hear a Samaritan as a good example because the Samaritans were descended from those who stayed behind after the exile. And the northern tribes of Israel were, were exiled and yet some people stayed behind, intermarried, and, they, and as a result they weren't worshiping in the same way as the Jews. They weren't worshiping in Jerusalem and they were, they were not liked very much. They were hated and looked down upon. And yet here in the story Jesus is saying that the Samaritan is the one who's acting as the neighbor to the victim. And it's going to be shocking because here this, this people should be cast out. They should be excluded. They should be separated. And here's a story that's saying, don't let those, those things separate us from helping those who are in need. So the question that we have to ask ourselves is, how am I like any one of the people in this parable? When have I been, unfortunately, like the priest or the Levite who chooses to be either pure or holy or better than someone who is in great need? <clears throat> when have I been like the Samaritan who goes out and helps someone who is hurting in some way, either emotionally or physically? Or when have I been like the victim in need of help, feeling helpless and in need of some kind of a good person, a Samaritan, to step over and help us when we're in need? So ask yourself, have I been given the opportunity to be a neighbor, to be like the Samaritan in the story? And if I accepted that, oppor that opportunity or have I turned it down, I've looked away. Go make disciples. God bless.